The Green Bay Packers have always been a team known for bold decisions, whether it's in the draft room or on the field. But their latest move has left fans and analysts alike asking a critical question. Did the Packers make the right choice in trading for quarterback Malik Willis? After an underwhelming preseason from both Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt, the Packers decided to roll the dice, sending a seventh-round pick to the Tennessee Titans for Willis, a move that could either shore up their quarterback depth or backfire spectacularly. Willis, a third-round pick in 2022, is an athlete with a cannon for an arm and the kind of mobility that has become increasingly valuable in today's NFL. However, his limited experience and past struggles raise concerns about whether he's ready to step in if called upon. Is this a calculated risk by the Packers, front office, or a desperate gamble in a high-stakes season? As we dive into the pros and cons of this trade, we'll explore what this move means for the Packers' immediate future and long-term aspirations. Stick around as we break down the potential impact of Malik Willis on the Packers' season. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Packers news. The Green Bay Packers' decision to trade for Malik Willis has sparked a wave of debate across the NFL community. As the 2024 season looms, the team's quarterback depth was a glaring issue that needed addressing. Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt, both promising in their own rights, failed to convince the coaching staff that they were ready to back up Jordan Love. The trade for Willis, reported by Adam Schefter of ESPN, sent shockwaves through the Packers fan base. A seventh round pick may seem like a low cost, but the implications of this move are far reaching. The Packers are betting on Willis's raw talent, hoping it can be harnessed and developed into something more reliable than what they currently have. But is this trade a sign of desperation or a stroke of genius? In the ever competitive NFC North, the Packers can't afford to have uncertainties at the quarterback position. Jordan Love, the heir apparent to Aaron Rodgers, has shown promise, but behind him, the situation was murky. Sean Clifford, drafted in the fifth round in 2023, and rookie Michael Pratt, a seventh round pick, had their moments during the preseason, but lacked consistency. The coaching staff's concerns grew as neither could establish themselves as a dependable backup. The Packers needed a solution, and fast. Malik Willis, with his athleticism and arm strength, represented an intriguing option, a potential diamond in the rough who could be molded into a capable backup. Malik Willis isn't just any backup quarterback. His skill set brings a level of dynamism that Clifford and Pratt simply do not possess. Willis's athleticism, combined with a powerful arm, offers a tantalizing mix of attributes that could eventually translate into on-field success. His ability to make plays with his legs adds a new dimension to the Packers' offense, one that could be especially valuable in the modern NFL, where mobility is increasingly prized. If the Packers can develop Willis, he could become more than just a backup. He could be a game changer, capable of stepping in and making an impact if Jordan Love were to miss time. However, the trade for Malik Willis isn't without its risks. Willis's NFL career has been marked by inconsistency. Despite his physical gifts, his limited experience is a concern. In his brief time with the Titans, Willis completed just 53% of his passes and failed to throw a touchdown, all while throwing three interceptions. These numbers are far from encouraging, and they raise questions about whether Willis can quickly adapt to the Packers' offense and provide reliable backup play if needed. The Packers' coaching staff will have to work diligently to refine Willis's game, a task that requires time and patience commodities that are often in short supply in the NFL. One of the biggest challenges facing Malik Willis as he joins the Packers is the need to learn a new offense. The transition from Tennessee's system to Matt LaFleur's run action, vertical-based passing attack will not be easy. Each NFL offense has its own terminology, concepts, and rhythm, and mastering these nuances takes time. For Willis, who is still developing as a quarterback, this transition adds another layer of difficulty. The Packers will need to provide him with the necessary support and resources to help him adapt quickly, but there's no guarantee that this process will be seamless. The learning curve could be steep, and how Willis handles it will be crucial to his success in Green Bay.
The acquisition of Malik Willis has immediate implications for the Packers roster. With Willis now in the mix, the futures of Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt are uncertain. The Packers may choose to keep all three quarterbacks, but that would mean sacrificing depth at another position. Alternatively, they could decide to part ways with either Clifford or Pratt, a move that would come with its own set of risks. Clifford, as a fifth-round pick, and Pratt, a seventh-round pick, both represent investments by the team, and cutting ties with either would be a tough decision. The Packers' front office must weigh these considerations carefully as they finalize their roster for the upcoming season. Matt LaFleur's offense is built around the principles of play action and vertical passing, concepts that can play to Malik Willis's strengths if he can master the system. Willis's ability to throw deep and make plays outside the pocket aligns well with the Packers' offensive philosophy. However, success in this system requires more than just physical tools. It demands a deep understanding of timing, reads, and decision-making. Willis will need to quickly grasp these concepts if he's to find success in Green Bay. The coaching staff's ability to tailor the offense to Willis's strengths while helping him overcome his weaknesses will be a key factor in determining the success of this trade. The trade for Malik Willis could have long-term implications for the Packers. If Willis develops as the team hopes, he could provide valuable insurance behind Jordan Love, allowing the Packers to continue their tradition of strong quarterback play. On the other hand, if Willis struggles, the team may find itself back to square one, searching for a backup solution. The success or failure of this trade could also impact the future of the Packers' front office. General Manager Brian Gutekunst has built a reputation for making savvy moves, and this trade will be closely scrutinized as part of his legacy. The stakes are high, and the outcome is anything but certain. The decision to trade for Malik Willis raises the question, how does he compare to other backup options the Packers could have pursued? Veteran, quarterbacks with more experience were available, and some might argue that the Packers would have been better off targeting a more proven player. However, Willis offers something that many veterans do not, potential. While veterans provide a known quantity, Willis brings the possibility of significant growth. The Packers' choice to prioritize potential over experience is a gamble, one that reflects the team's confidence in its ability to develop young talent. Whether this gamble pays off will be one of the most intriguing storylines of the season. The reaction to the Malik Willis trade among Packers fans has been mixed. Some are excited about the potential that Willis brings, seeing him as a high upside player who could thrive in Green Bay's system. Others are more skeptical, concerned about his lack of experience and past struggles. This divide reflects the broader uncertainty surrounding the trade. Fans understand the need for a reliable backup quarterback, but whether Willis can fill that role remains to be seen. As the season progresses, the fans' perception of this trade will evolve, shaped by Willis's performance on the field and the team's overall success. The Green Bay Packers' decision to trade for Malik Willis is a bold move, one that carries both potential rewards and significant risks. As the team prepares for the 2024 season, the success of this trade will be determined by Willis's ability to develop and contribute as a backup quarterback. If he can harness his physical gifts and adapt to the Packers' system, this trade could go down as a masterstroke by Brian Gutekunst. However, if Willis struggles, the Packers may find themselves questioning the wisdom of this decision. Only time will tell whether this gamble pays off, but one thing is certain. The Packers are all in on Malik Willis. And as the season unfolds, we'll be here to analyze every twist and turn. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on the trade. We wanna hear from you. Do you think the Packers made the right move? or did they take an unnecessary risk? Your voice matters, and we can't wait to see what you have to say.